Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad project. Friends, today we're going to find some fancy fonts and make a sweet keychain. So let's get cracking. So, friends, I love making keychains in my class. They print fast, and kids like to take them home. We're going to start by hitting Create New Design. Friends, the first thing I want you to do is name this. Put keychain and put your initials, and then put V1. That way, if you make more than one keychain, they'll be named right when we go to print them bring out a rectangle the rules in my room are we've got to do 70 we have got to do 25 and then it has got to be two millimeters thick those are the rules it's what i demand just make sure you're fitting those for the radius i like to make it two so it's a little bit rounded if you want to leave it as a totally square one you can leave that as zero next we need to bring out the hole i want you to hold shift stretch it to crazyville type five and press enter that is the perfect size for our keychains. We can then grab those two pieces. I'm going to click a line. I'm going to click on this edge, and I want it to be the top corner, and I want it to be the left edge. So now it's right in the spot. Now we're just going to use the arrow keys. I'm going to nudge two millimeters over, two millimeters down, and that is a great spot to put your hole. When you group them, you are now ready to add words to your awesome keychain. Now we could go right here to the text and add those. We could also go to shape generators, switch to all, hit more shapes, and use the awesome text here. If you have not made this a favorite, I highly recommend it. The curved text is also awesome. But friends, instead of these, today we're gonna use fonts on the internet. So let me show you just how to make that happen. Friends, there will be a link in the description that will take you to the Google Font to SVG page. This is an amazing place where you can pick your fonts with this little button right here, and then you can put your words over here. So I want to make an HL Mod Tech keychain. This is where you would pick your words, your capital letters out in this box. I'm going to tell you to leave all of these alone except the size. I want you to make it size 30 so when it comes in it's a little more useful. We're still going to have to shrink it, but this is closer. So this is what ABZ is going to look like. If we click this box and you use the arrow keys, it will switch down through them. And now that it's selected, I can just check them out. So I'm doing the down arrow as I double check and find the font that I think is gonna look the coolest. Now notice all this code. This code is what makes it magical. It's gonna allow us to save the text and then bring it in via import to Tinkercad. So I'm gonna find one that I think works. This one you may think looks cool, but I'm just going to tell you that when they're that curly and small, sometimes they don't print as well. They usually print better if they're a little larger like this. I'm going to choose this one, and friends, all you do is hit Download SVG. I'm going to tell you to put it in your Downloads folder. Make sure you hit Quick Access and choose that. It'll already have a name you can use. You can see I've already done some practices. So I'm going to call this number four. And then I'm going to save it, and we're going to return to Tinkercad, and I'll show you how to bring it in. All right, so real quickly, all we do is hit Import. We need to choose the SVG. We're going to go over to that Downloads. There is what we named it. Mine was HL Mod Tech 4. We want to choose the Art. And I'm going to tell you that we want to make sure that it's less than 70 wide. So I'm going to type 65 and press Enter. And then it will bring in that text after a moment. Notice down here it's taken time. It is possible to make something so complex it won't load. I'm thinking our fonts will be fine because of that size 30 I chose. But as you can tell as I'm still talking, we need to be patient as we wait for it. There it is. So now I'm going to set it on top of my keychain by putting the work plane on the keychain, clicking on the words, pressing the letter D to drop. I'm going to move it into place. Notice you can stretch it, but this would be bad. I don't want to stretch it into the hole. And I'm always using the black handles because that way it goes one at a time. So I'm going to choose that spot right there. I'm going to bring it down here to that spot. And then this is important. I'm going to demand that you make it 1.5 high. So your total keychain will be 2 plus 1.5 or 3.5. If we put the work plane back down on the ground, you have just designed an amazing keychain. I like to group them, 
they are gonna print one color all of my printers are set for print in one color all right friends so with your keychain built it is time to double check your name make sure you've got that correct and then hit export and we are going to export an STL when you do this you've got to put it in the right folder make sure you check your quick access and find the STL folder you've already named it with your initials click after the V1 and I'd like you to type your favorite color now I can't guarantee you get this color you can ask me what colors I have in class but this way if I'm printing your keychain after class I've got the color listed so I'm gonna name mine blue I do know I have black I've got gold I've got red I've got pink you can type them in and I will try and get you your dream color and then once again make sure you're in STL and hit save and boom your file is ready for 3d printing Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, maybe even hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.